Okay, this is uh, Jake Griffin, Sam Barker's campaign manager for the Progressive Party political convention. All right, I thank you for being here, Jake. Thanks. It's great. Um, first question: How do you think Sam's campaign is going so far? Oh, really well. Uh, he's been on message 99% of the time. Um, I mean, it could not be going any better. All right. So I'm really pleased with it. Um, what are your predictions for the convention? Well, uh, I mean, if we're going by merit, uh, Sam should win, hands down. Uh, but we're not really sure right now. Uh, I mean, we don't want to just suppose that Sam's going to win. Although I do think that some polling would show Sam well ahead. Alright, um, what sway do you hold over Sam's policy making? None. I hold no sway over no, Sam's no policy. No sway? None. Alright. Sam is a principled guy. Uh, he believes what he's saying. The only reason he needs me is to better project his message. You know, I'm just a, I'm just a speakerphone for Sam. Alright. Um... How do you feel about alleged corruption in other campaigns? There are ads and one candidate came out and said it. What is this? How does this make you feel? I'm disturbed. Um, I think the candidate you're referring to is uh, Griffin. Yeah. Griffin came out with those ads, I believe they're on Mr. Bell's chalkboard, without party approval. Just the day before, right before school got out, the announcement, Eric Aguilar had an unsanctioned uh, message over the announcement. And then there was the lying, the lying by uh, Kennedy Smolensky. And that's disturbing. Um, I can't prove any of this, but it, I mean, there's 20 or so witnesses that saw it. So I, I'm, I'm disturbed, and I hope that it stops. I can just say that I'm glad to be running a clean campaign with Sam. All right. Um, how hard do you think Sam works in comparison to other candidates? Sam works really hard. I know this weekend he was prepping the entire time. Uh, he, was, he even went over his uh, debate questions with his sister, and I really think it showed. Ask anyone who won that debate, and if if they were if they were there, if they were even slightly conscious, they they, they would know who won. All right. And um, how do you think James, um, Sam's James Bond pose at the end of the uh, debate <laughs> affects his image? Because Chris, Chris asked for yeah. the photo op, and Sam was the only one that did it. Yeah. Well, you know, Sam is such a nice guy that he did pose for the camera. I, I don't think he really thought about what he was doing when he did that. He was just trying to give the reporters a good shot. You guys want to do <laughs> no, no, later, later. <laughs> later. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, uh, Sam's just such a nice guy. Um, and Chris Kraft is really... Uh, he's the reporting equivalent of an ambulance chaser. I mean, he's just out for the story. He's a tabloid reporter. He has no credibility in the journalistic community. Uh, I, I think the, when Sam was absent and I had to take questions, he asked me why my ads weren't up yet. What a stupid question that was. You know, I'm obviously working on it. Uh, he has no credibility, so we're not concerned about it at all. Okay. Well, that's all I had for today. Thank you for coming. All right. Thanks. It's been a, been a pleasure. Yep.